We have a lot to inform our friends and partners what's going on in Ukraine, what changes happening during the last half of the year. And I consider that as a, one of the most successful autumn of the reform. Nobody expect that, that we would be so lucky and so effective. Autumn of the reform means pension reform, which is question for the survival, sometimes very unpopular, but absolutely necessary. Everybody speaks 20 years about the pension reform, and that has happened this autumn. Healthcare reform, sometimes very painful, but we cannot stay anymore in the Soviet-type medicine for the additional years. We should be decisive, and I am very proud that this reform was approved and worked together with our international partners. Education reform. I think also very important that we finish judicial reform, and we have now the new Supreme Court, with a very high level of trust, formed an absolutely transparent procedure and protect the right of Ukrainian people for the justice. And not only Ukrainian people, but also investors. And this is extremely difficult, but we reach this success. Rural, med rural telemedicine reform, which is launching together with the World Bank, our Canadian partners, American partners, 14 million Ukrainians live in the rural area. And we return first time the opportunity for the quality health care service. I want to stress that this was done by money which is confiscated, one and a half billion dollar, confiscated with the Yanukovych team who was stealed from Ukrainian people. And a lots of other reforms. One of the most important here is privatization reform. 20 years, everybody speaks about the transparent privatization. Nothing happened. We introduced that it would be done by the, um, uh, the British law, the system which has a trust from the investor, definitely with the assistance of the foreign advisors, an absolutely transparent procedure. And I'm proud that this year, this is the first time when I have a lot of requests from the foreign investor about meeting with me. It's never happened such a big number of the top player on the investment market like this year. And when we have an independent survey about what country now is among top priority from the investors to come on the emerging market, this is Ukraine. But this is important achievement during the autumn of the reform, but not enough. And we are not playing to stop, to freeze, even before the next election cycle. Not at all. We continue our cooperation with IMF. And yesterday, I want to thank David Lipton, Christine Lagarde. We have a brilliant meeting with the exact date, what and, what and when should be done, including the anti-corruption court, which is my initiative now in the parliament and we have accelerated the legal expert meeting for helping to prepare for the second reading this draft law. We plan to make changes in the tax legislation to replace the profit tax to the stimulating investment tax, which would be taxed only when you withdraw money from the country. If you will invest in the country, it would be zero taxation. 
It would be initiative to create the National Bureau for Financial Investigation, which concentrated and it would be only one analytic services and no main, no any other law enforcement agency would be allowed even to knock the door of the business. We plan to create an effective system to protect investor interest. We undertake the very important steps to strengthening the financial system, to clean it up from the dirty banks. And I'm proud that now we are finishing this process. We agreed about the new candidate for the governor of National Bank, and it is supported by IMF and our international partners. And I'm absolutely proud that this is the decisive step for acceleration reform. It's extremely important for us. I just want to remind you that we do all these things during the Russian aggression. Spending 6% of our GDP to the security and defense sector. And dozens of thousands of Ukrainians are pr protecting not only our sovereignty, not only our territorial integrity, but not only our independence, but freedom and democracy in Europe and in the whole world. Stopping Russia for any further development for blast global stability, which is destroyed when one of the permanent members of the Security Council of the United Nations is an aggressor. And we vitally need the peacekeeping mission on east of my country. And I want to thank to many of our international partners, including those who are present in today in this breakfast, for to support our idea and ready to be the part of the peacekeeping mission. We create during these three years one of the most efficient army on the continent. Because when I was elected as a president, we don't have an army at all. And a few days or week ago, the parliament voted for the new law for the reintegration of Donbas, our strategy to return back occupied territory. And this is also an important step for the future stabilization. I think that it would be extremely important to deliver the truth about what's happening in Ukraine, what's going on in our country. To protect the whole world against fake, fake news, which is extremely actual now throughout the world, in US, in Canada, in most of the European countries. And the fake news is also need to be well coordinated because this is one of the part of the Russian hybrid war, not only against Ukraine, but against the whole free world.